All right, so Milestone just officially released their first compound gameplay from Super Cross the Game 2, and it's pretty crazy. It, it, it's pretty crazy, and this time you get to hear it because there's no actual music playing in the background, which is pretty awesome because last time it was kind of that awkward silence of nothing, but we're going to play that here for you in just a second, let you watch it, and then we'll come back and talk about it when it's done and, and go from there. I, I guess the biggest thing for me that I thought was kind of strange, and maybe that's just from where I come from. I come from Nebraska, so we're... The whole state's practically cornfield. Well, 70% of it's like cornfield. But uh, it, the track is like, they just like plowed out a bunch of the corn and uh, built a track through it. So I guess they got their priorities straight. But uh, yeah, we're going to play it here and then uh, come back and talk about it when it finishes. Okay, so there you go. That is the first official compound gameplay, second official gameplay from Supercross the Game 2, and I guess some early things that I kind of noticed was it, yeah, there's going to be people that disagree with me, and that's totally fine. I'm totally open to people disagreeing with me. It's just the way the world is, but in my opinion, that kind of, it, it kind of gives me a, a little bit of an MX versus ATV compound feel to it. I, it just does, okay? It, it kind of reminds me of maybe something like the ranch from all out or I don't know it just kind of gives me that vibe it, it, it kind of had I mean they've talked about having like three different supercross tracks and then one motocross track I think and then you could see at the beginning there he was riding around more of a, a freestyle area a mess around area there was even a freestyle ramp and not really freestyle in the game I mean we have the the finishing celebrations the basically quick time events but I mean are you gonna be able to you know throw your knack knack or your heel clicker out at the compound too or is that just gonna be over the finish line it looks like it's just a finish line kinda of thing but I don't know I just thought that was kinda of interesting and I mean some people said in that last clip that we showed that there was no whip there was definitely he definitely threw it to the side in a in the whipping using the whipping mechanic of the game. I mean, it was definitely kind of a whip. And to me, it looked very much push those thumbsticks together, pull them apart, you know, kind of the what we've grown to know with uh, Milestone games. And, and I, I know that sucks, kind of, a little bit, but I thought Supercross the Game 1 was really good with even not completely having total control of the physics and... So it's something that for sure eventually is going to have to get addressed. But, you know, with only having a, less than a year, basically, in between the two releases, I guess I didn't, I don't know how much I expected to, to have that changed. You know what I mean? And then, uh, I don't know. And some people said they thought the whoops looked bigger. I, you know, looking here now and seeing them in this gameplay from Supercross 1 and then seeing the compound whoops, yeah, they definitely look a little bit bigger and you know, we're both using, I'm using the KX450 here, and they were using it in the video. It does sound, or in their clip, it does sound a bit different. They tweaked on it slightly, I think, and I don't know. I, 
I don't really know. I think the compound looks really cool, but it does kind of give me an MX versus ATV feel to it. It just does. I'm sorry. If you totally disagree, that's fine, but it, it just kind of does. It kind of gives me the flying moto ranch feel and all out kind of different for sure, but you know, those randomly placed hay bales and the ramps and then that dedicated kind of like freestyle area in the middle and then having the tracks around it, just kind of, I don't know, a little bit different. I mean, some of the things that they had placed, like their big barn and I think I saw a, a combine in the background and a few other things were different, but it, it just does, slightly, okay? Just slightly. So, I don't know, you'll have to let me know what you guys think. I think, I think it, it, it looks really interesting. I'm really excited to check it out, but uh, in the same sense, I have a lot of questions. Like with that freestyle area, what's the point of having the freestyle area if you can't even, I guess just jumping and throwing whips over it would be cool too, but it just makes you kind of think, are they gonna let the quote finishing celebrations go in the free riding the compound or is that just there just to, like I said, just to jump over and throw some whips and, and whatever. And, and like I said, that was definitely a whip in there. I mean, it was like a baby whip, but for sure a whip. Because then when it came back, the bike got like stuck sideways. You know what I mean? You know how? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, when you throw a whip and then sometimes the bike would, it's like you can't completely bring it back straight. And it did that kind of in that clip. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I don't really know. I'm excited about it. No matter what, I know there's going to be people that aren't excited and want to criticize it, and that's great. It's This is open for debate. That's why the comments are here, and I like seeing what you guys have to say and then talking to you about it in the comments. So you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and if you want to be kept in the loop with uh, Supercross The Game 2 News, make sure to sit tight here, and we'll get it out to you as soon as it becomes available to us. But again, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing, and until the next video, take it easy.